a little bit slicker. Hmm, somebody decapitated that one. His head fell off. He's dead anyways. He has a little time. Just want to do a bilateral symmetrical cut. Hmm. Where are some scissors? He lost his head, Fred. Okay. Now, at some sick level, this is actually worked out better without his head. The first boldest part right there, crop. We, we're going to find out that crops are responsible for um, food storage. Crop. Then you notice how it narrows down right here, right there? Gizzard. Crop, gizzard. Now, do you see these little finger-like projections? These are called pyloric cica. This is where the stomach is. Crop, gizzard, stomach, intestine. Got it? So, esophagus would be here. Crop. Gizzard. Gizzard. Stomach. Intestine. Uh, and then rectum there. Uh, antenna. Compound eye. In anatomy, what would your thigh bone be called? Femur. Femur. Here's the tibia. The excretory organs of insects, go back to your notes, are called malpighian tubules. I don't know that I'm going to ask that on the exam because that would be pretty tiny to find them, but we, can, we could tease these uh, malpighian tubules, and basically that's what I'm doing right now. These are called malpighian tubules, and that's what we got right here, the excretory organs right there are malpighian tubules. So let's see if you're paying attention. What's that? What's that? Anus, rectum. What's this? Femur. Tibia. 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 Got it? the ovipositor? If we had a female, part of the problem is they're all males, and the male has got a blunt end. The ovipositor would be a bifurcated or fork structure in females. Are we all right with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we go with the roundworm, right? Male or female? Female. Female. Who's got the atlas? Let me show you something. This is very interesting. We will not, I promise we will not get any worm juice on your thing. Put it right there. Would you go to asterisk for me? <laughs> Good. I love that right there. Now look at this. Basically, male and female have got, most of these parasitic worms are almost all gonads. They're reproductive machine. They've got an intestine and the rest is gonad. But look, basically the female is one long tube. Ovary is the finest tube, then oviduct, then uterus. Basically, you've got a forked uterus there with the ovary and oviduct that's wrapped around it. So obviously, that's what you're looking at. You're looking at a uterus with ovary and oviduct that has been wrapped around it. Now, my thing is to try to convince you that that's what you're looking at. Now, the intestine is easy because it's a long, flattened structure that runs the entire length of the animal, and we should be able to find that with not too much difficulty. One moment while I look for the intestine. Okay, here we go. There's a nice section of intestine. Does everybody see that? Flattened structure, flattened structure, right? Intestine right there. Now, somebody got bored and didn't want to dissect the entire thing. Okay. One moment, please, while I try to see what's going on here. Okay, there we go. Here's your bifurcated uterus right here. One uterus, another uterus. Do you see that? The largest tube, here's a uterus right there. Does everybody see that? That's the uterus right there. Notice the intestine right there, flattened, 
right? Mm -hmm. I'm pulling the intestine out. Do you see that? That's the intestine right there. Now, let's get some of the rest of this out. Ramen noodles. Oh, you'll never eat spaghetti again. Let me show you something that's very, very cool. Oh, I think it's cool. One moment. Bet you don't do this at the vet clinic. <laughs> okay. No, we're not that sick. You're not that <laughs> sick. Yeah, but your your veterinarian had to do it at some time. Are you going into veterinary medicine? Yeah, why not? That's not your thing, huh? Somebody has to okay. eat ramen noodles. Somebody has to eat ramen noodles. Good. That's what they call them in vet school. Okay, hang on one second. They do birth to eat ramen noodles, so that's what they eat after that. Thing you're trying to pull. Yep. Which is wow. Oh, end of the ovary? Now, here we go. Three classes of tubes. Uterus, ovary, oviduct. Got it? Uterus, oviduct, ovary. I'm not going to do it on a practical. I could, right? If I showed you three of them, you'd be able to get that. But it's one thing to see it in a picture. It's another thing to actually see it in the flesh. And you can see it's all reproductive. It's all gonad, right, except for the intestine. Okay, so that, that clearly represents a female. Male, what do you have? Testes, ductus deferens, seminal vesicle. <laughs> Isn't that somebody from Florida State, a seminal vesicle? <laughs> a little humor there. Okay. That was funny. <laughs> Gotta put that on YouTube. <laughs> okay. Here's the intestine, right? That, hang on, that, uh, the flattened structure, right? You see that? I'm teasing the intestine right out. Now, let's take a look here. The larger structure is the ductus deferens. So the, the thickest one, obviously, is would be the ductus. Then if we could actually find the, the, the smallest one, the finest one, like right there, there's the testis right there. Testes, right? Testes, right? Yeah, and then too. ductus. Do you yeah. see that right there? Mm -hmm. um, seminal vesicle. Let's see what I can well, do with like that. see this for a second. Let's make sure you got anterior and exterior. You're saying both ends are tapered. How do you know? So how do they reproduce? Sexually. The male has got a literally, the copulatory organ is literally, uh, as far as having sex, is literally like a hypodermic injection into the female. So it is really quite a wild thing in, is this being recorded? In, in roundworms. Wow. I hope it doesn't show up on, on YouTube. When do you learn about that? It's going to be all over YouTube. It's going to be all over YouTube. My tube, no YouTube. Okay. Uh, that's enough. Yikes. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, see that copulatory spicules. Um, did we do all the critters? Yep. Mm -hmm. Are we all right with that? This is not too hard. 